It's a surgery that is becoming increasingly more common. Ankle replacements usually are needed because of a bad accident or arthritis, but artificial ankles have come a long way and not all of them are the same. David Sander believes he is a walking medical marvel. It's really a miracle. The miracle is that he's walking at all after he slipped on an icy city sidewalk in the middle of winter. I lifted up my leg and my foot was backwards and I said to myself, oh my God. After his initial surgery, David knew it would eventually come to a replacement. His cartilage was gone, leaving him with painful, debilitating arthritis. But he worried that failure rates were high for artificial ankles. When you're reaching that percentage of failure, you're, you're really taking a risk. Now David's new ankle is a step up from earlier versions. The bone is going to be loaded along uh, a curved surface, the curved surface of the bone, just as a normal ankle is loaded. Dr. Jonathan DeLand helped design what is now the version that most mimics what comes naturally. DeLand says past replacement ankles were flat, creating a rigid effect when walking. The curved replacement results a, in a wider range of motion. That is nicely fixed uh, to bone. Um, uh, in good alignment uh, and functioning like a normal ankle. One that means David can once again take long walks on the beach, play with Zach, and even get down in his garden again. I don't even know that I have an ankle replacement. David says his recovery time was a miracle, too. He had the operation last year. The former marathon runner was back on his feet within seven weeks, and he's been going strong ever since.